Ken here, old man writer, getting a chance today to do something I love to do, that's talk about the mathematics and physics and physiology of bike riding. And today I want to do something that has not been done to my knowledge, and that's show you how to convert a cheap, or at least inexpensive, cycle odometer, speedometer, computer, into a more expensive cadence meter. Now I'm going to do that by changing the way we do the measurement of the going around and around the front wheel to going around and around the pedal. Cadence is a very important measurement. It's that measurement of times per minute that we're moving the pedals around. That's very different from the speed at which the front wheels are going around, which is how fast you're going in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. And that is a very important thing, but it doesn't have anything to really do with how we're training. As we train, we're trying to optimize our physical performance. And when you're going uphill or downhill or against the wind, that can be a big deal as far as your speed goes, but your cadence can be the same. We can be optimized in training for that higher cadence. The same cadence that you look at the Olympics or, or high-end bike riders in the Tour de France, they're really pedaling at 80, 90 to you know, 100 revolutions per minute. And people, especially us older riders, tend to go slower, 50 to 60, just because that's where our physiology and our bodies find to be most energy efficient. I'll talk about that more in a different video, but today I want to talk about the magic numbers to turn this into this, at least as far as a cadence meter goes. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of high school math, and I'm going to show the magic number to type in to the inexpensive bicycle odometer to output cadence as opposed to speed. Now we're going to have to move the sensor locations and that kind of thing, but I'll get to that in a minute. We're going to focus on, say, that optimum speed of the cadence of your cycling pedaling action as opposed to speed action of 80 revolutions per minute. I'm just going to use that as an example number to calculate the circumference of an imaginary tire that we would have to put on the bike to dial in our inexpensive uh, cycle odometer. Now, these odometers have different size wheels that you can use, and the magic number that you type in is this circumference. So little kid's bike, road bike, that changes to make the miles per hour more accurate. But we're going to change that to a totally different number to relate cadence of the pedal and pretend that that's a kilometers per hour measurement. Now, we're optimizing, say, 80, 90 uh, revolutions per minute as a cadence. We're not going to be going anywhere near that in kilometers per hour. So I've made another change, and that is to divide that speed by 10. So a 80 revolutions per minute cadence, I'm going to dial this in to be 8 to 9 kilometers per hour. Now, to do the math, I've just chosen one of these numbers. It could be any number or even X if you remember high school math. But I'm just going to do this conversion. And watch this. So I'm going to target 80 revolutions per minute, calculate this uh, circumference value. That's what we're going to solve for. And do the conversions from minutes to hours, and meters and centimeters and kilometers to meters, and make that come out to 8.0 kilometers per hour as opposed to 80 revolutions per minute. But that's the same number. That's the number that's going to come up on our bike odometer. I'm going to do the math, da 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 and I'm going to calculate a circumference of 166 centimeters. And that's the magic number that we're going to type into the bike odometer to make the output revolutions per minute if we move the sensor to the pedal. Now I've got a picture below of where I've set my bike up to be this. I'm using the same magnet as my expensive Garmin 810 cadence meter that does a whole lot more. But I've shared that same magnet and I've placed the sensor to pick up every time the pedal goes around, send that signal to the little odometer. And what comes out is a kilometers per hour value that is actually revolutions per minute on our cadence. Okay, you see that video? It shows these things back to you. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is for me, uncoordinated old me, uh, to get a picture and focus and everything. Um, but it works. The numbers match up on the expensive device and the inexpensive device. And it was kind of fun riding around the neighborhood, balancing all the stuff and, and trying to take this picture. Even, even the people look at you and say, oh my gosh, what's this crazy person doing? 
Anyway, this is Ken, an old man writer, getting a chance to do physics and math today, enjoying the opportunity to mix my professional life and my personal life, and teach you how to convert this device into this device, and hopefully save a whole bunch of money, and get the tools you need to be a better writer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.